But without further ado, let me go boot this up. <clears throat> And yeah, interestingly it says NT version 4.0, but we're just going to do this. So I have a list of programs right here that we are going to cover. And well yeah, we are first going to start with paintbrush to see if we can make it better. Also I'm going to exit out of this. Actually, we're going to go to new. Now, like Windows 95, this is based off of the NT kernel, so it's going to be more stable than... A calculator is simply crashing from just trying to calculate binary stuff. Now, if we view the picture... Save. Oh wait, I forgot we can't go to there. Now we're gonna cover control panel because there's some things that we need to cover here. And uh, one thing that needs to be dealt with to, so we can get something to work later called Schedule Plus, which requires, a, which I will go minimize this so I can go open up the program to show you what normally happens if you try to start up the program right now. If, if you didn't, let me go do that again because I didn't realize because I thought I was going to. Let's go back to here. The system date must be within the range of 1920 to 2019. Schedule Plus cannot continue running. Basically, you need that because, for whatever reason, it's how it works. We're going to go to desktop here. Okay, actually, yeah, that isn't gonna work. We need to go. Let's go to file manager. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go back to here. And now, I know I probably shouldn't be doing this. This way, but we're gonna do it anyway. Simple. Now we're gonna go back to here, go back to desktop, and it should show up. And now we have that background that I set. Mm. Oh, and then we have the thing I made and I was paint. Now we're gonna go to date and time and go proceed to go wind this all the way back. Mm. To 1996 for later, as we are going to cover Notepad, then Clock, Card File, Calculator, and a few others. I mean, I've already covered File Manager, Control Panel, and Paintbrush. And so I think what we're going to do now is go cover Command Prompt. As you can see, Basically, command prompt. And for whatever reason, it's got the control panel icon.
But yeah. Also interestingly that uh, the desktop thingy. So now we are going to cover notepad. Yeah, I, I actually can say this is actually kind of correct because even if they made this this program UWP in Windows 11, I think I don't know that they made this program much different in Windows 11. It's it still does what it does, and and in my opinion, it's always been the same. It basically does the same thing, and well, yeah. Oh wow, that actually, that actually supported that? I didn't, I mean, I already knew that Windows NT supported longer file names at this point, but I didn't know that I could actually do that. Which is one of the advantages over Windows NT 3.51 compared to if there was a normal Windows 3.51. Although the closest thing that there is to that is called Windows 3.11. Which I I would want to cover sometime, but I need to. <coughs> anyway, I'm sorry though. Anyway, as I was saying, I might be able to get Windows 3.11 working on my 486 if I can drag it out of the closet. But yeah, we have the clock. Only one thing here. Saying we can go change this to analog. Open this up, and yeah. Now we are going to go to calculator. <clears throat> Nine times six equals four. Let's go see if binary will work. And that is. 1,081. <clears throat> so yeah. <clears throat> Calculator actually did work for once. Oh wait, it works in more than just... That was only Windows 95. Days. So yeah, if we're looking here, now we've got card file. <clears throat> so yeah, basically what we have left is mail and schedule plus. I mean, I've looked at this list. It may be small, but look. This, I didn't want this video to be like... Now, card file is something that basically is supposed to be a contact thingy, but back in the day, I never used it for that. <clears throat> so actually, we're gonna use this as it is, as it's supposed to be used. Oh, system web! AKA using it as a contact thingy. Actually, I can kind of see why this is supposed to be a contact thingy. I, I didn't even understand. It makes much, much, much more sense to me now. This makes much more sense. <clears throat> Petition for me. No, just kidding. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Oh, wait, we need. Unicode card file. 3.0 card file. These are all the same file format. What's. 
Why is it seem there's so much of a difference? <clears throat> I mean, I'm pretty sure I knew that Windows NT 3.1 had support for longer file names. I think I saw that more recently while watching one of the old Computer Chronicles episodes. And so, I'm going to cover Schedule Plus first. Yeah, this, uh, yes. And in order to actually use this, you need to set up an account for mail. Which, how you can get this to work, you don't need to hook up... A, you don't need to set up an, something like this for a complex server or a mail server. You can host an email server entirely locally on your computer. I may actually set up a second VM to show you how you can do this. Basically, I'll show you when uh, basically each user has their own email account. But yes, as you can see, uh, also, what the heck happened to the... What happened to these? But yeah, it is... Says it's 2.40 p.m., that's correct. Going to create this. Test. Knowing this, we are not going to be able to... Just going to go... 2.40... Okay, now let's go for... 2.40... 43 set reminder for one minute beforehand yeah this basically got replaced by outlook but we're we're gonna have that running in the background while we go wait for this and yeah meow I created I mean and yes I created a few extra email accounts on this virtual machine just for my personal fantasy but yes I have no idea why I chose to steal OS 3 huh I wonder why I haven't covered it, it in quite a bit of time hmm Maybe it's because of the fact that there are no programs out on Steel S3. Oh, and when you look at that, it's the reminder. So yeah, back to this. Planner. Yeah, you have a planner. And that, a tasks. Sample. One. Sample. Two. But yeah, basically you have that. Just that. You basically have... Yeah, yeah, these basically do everything in like a singular thingy. I've... Yeah, you have this. You can reply. Okay, why am I uh, being... Um, uh, I meant to put two O's there. Uh, whoops. Why that was... I already have an OEM copy. No, this is not how my emails work. We're gonna go here, no, and yeah, basically, those get sent outward. Mm. Deleted mail. But yeah, this is rather simple. Forward. You must type at least one name into the box. Check names. Check name, no. Or right, address, there we go. Go to this. <clears throat> Hit send. 
And we can see this in real time, going at words to, yeah, my, uh, so yes. But yeah, we got system, and yeah, we got, actually, while well, I'm out, and I, I was gonna see if we could cover any of the super advanced fancy features that Windows NT got at this point in time, but... Uh, now that I think about it, not today, that'll probably be another video for another day, probably for another channel called The Extras Channel. But yeah. So with that, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!